So this is my back to school haul. So the first one that I'm going to start with is Hollister. So in Hollister, I just got these like dark dad jeans. That's how they look. And I got them in a size triple zero. The next door is garage. So don't mind the bag. My garage bag broke, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got were these jeans. They're just ankle straight jeans. And they have these, like, they have this in the bottom, and I think they're super cute. Next, I got another pair of dark jeans. That's how they look. And by the way, I get all those in the smallest size for garage, which is a double zero. The last two things that I got from garage is this long line tee in, in green. I just think it's super pretty. I got an extra small. And then I got this blue, like, purplish tee. And I also got an extra small. Next door is American Eagle. From American Eagle, I just got two pairs of jeans. I got these. And they have, like, little rips in the bottom. I mean, like, in the middle, like kind of near the um, and then I got these light wash pair and they kind of look like the ones from garage but they don't have like the brace on the bottom and then I got these also in a triple zero next I did stop in pink but I'm not gonna show what's in here <laughs> next door is air postal sadly my school does have a strict dress code so I had to grab some polos I did get maroon I got two whites so the other one gray and then blue Next up is shoes. So I did take two stops to Journeys, but for my first stop, I got some Bats and Pods. And I got them in this like grayish brownish color, and I think they're super pretty. And finally is my other pair of shoes. So it was a coincidence. I did go to Journey Kids, and I found the campuses that I was looking for. So I got them in the gray color. But they don't come with the thick laces, so I have to order the thicker laces. And then I got these socks to go with my campuses and my clogs instead of like Nike socks. I think it would look better. But that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. I'm going to do a very early back to school haul because I'm bored. So I hope nobody finds this account. Okay, I'm going to try with Levi's. I just got one thing, but I got a pair of light wash jean shorts. Okay, now for Paxson. I got this really cute baby pink floral thing for my pencils. Most of the stuff is from Brandy, but I got this 14 baby tee. Oh. Also from Brandy is, I don't know if this is the right way. Yeah. Anyways, um, this gray off the shoulder long sleeve. I also got another off the shoulder, but it's not from Brittany, but it's so adorable. I love it. Then I got this sage green hoodie also from Brittany. Okay, and then the last thing from Paxson is these straight jeans. Okay, last is Hollister, which all these tops are the same style, but they're different colors. So I got this blue and white striped one. This pink. It's like a baby pink. You can barely tell it's pink. One. And then this like cream brown color. And then the last thing is these linen shorts which are really comfortable and they're really cute. And that is all for now. Let me do a job on the back. Guys, I think I actually have the biggest haul ever. It actually hurts to carry these. We're starting off with Levi's. I got these pants. I thought they were really cute. I know it's like hot right now, but fall is like coming soon and I really liked the back of these pants. I stopped into Uniqlo. I don't usually buy any of the things, but I found this like shirt. It was meant to be for kids, but I think it looks so cute. We did not find the store for the life of us, but we ended up finding it. And I got this cutesy little blue sweater. It's like V-neck. And I really wanted to wear it with like a skirt. I think Arrow is the most underrated store ever because their jeans fit so good. First of all, you guys know those jeans that I wear like 24 seven. They're literally this exact pair but light wash, so they made them in a dark wash color. They didn't have my size, so I sized up. Also got these like light, very light wash flares. They also fit so nice. 
also got these cute little drop shirts. I like the neckline. Actually, that's not the neckline. That's from the back. Here's the neckline. I got them in black and then this like wine color. I went to Lululemon two different days. The first day I was not planning on getting anything, but I literally spilled burger juice on the shorts that I was wearing. So I was like, I need a different outfit because it literally smelled so bad. So I got this aligned top. My boyfriend actually picked this for me. It actually looked really cute on. It had this aligned skirt too. I love aligned skirts. I'm actually wearing one tomorrow. It's just in green. So now I have two. I went to the Lululemon outlet and I actually found a lot, even though we went like towards the end. First, I got this dress. It looks kind of like weird, but I swear it looks cute on. It's really hard to put on. But it was only $39, so I was like, if it looks cute and when it's on it looks cute, then I'm gonna get it. I got this plain shirt, but then it has this cute little design in the back, which I thought added a lot. I actually don't know how these were there. They were my size, they're size zero. They fit so nice. I have so many of these, I just don't have this exact pattern. And we went to the Hoka store. So the first day that we got here, or the first day that we went to a park, we went to Animal Kingdom, I wore Birkenstocks, worst decision ever. My feet hurt so bad. So I got these white hokas. They look kind of mid off feet, but I swear they look cute on. We also went to a Disney store and I don't think I got anything for myself here. I think I got stuff for my family. I got two of these red sweaters. I really like the back of it. I think they're really cute. So I got this for my sister and my mom. Then I went to Paxson, but I literally only go to Paxson to buy brandy. So this is all brandy. First shirt I got was this button up gray shirt. I really like the wash to it. Okay, I lied. This is not all brandy. This is actually from the Paxson brand. This plain long sleeve top. I didn't know if I like this, but I have one in red and I've worn it before and it looked cute. Last thing from Paxson were these leggings. And they're just really comfy and I really love this color. I almost forgot to show this, but we actually stopped in Polo Ralph Lauren baby store. And I got this for my sister's baby. That was everything that I got, but I'm also going shopping Thursday. So I'll give you guys a haul if I go shopping Thursday. Let's do the biggest shopping haul ever. Okay, if this is seriously not the biggest shopping haul you have ever seen, then I generally do not know what it is. I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got, and this is all of my back to school stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm seriously so excited to show you guys everything I got, and this is everything we're working with. <laughs> also, some of the brands include Golden Goose, Aloe, Aritzia, Lululemon, like the list goes on. Let's start off with my personal favorite, Aritzia. Also, you guys, these bags are literally ginormous. First, for Aritzia, I got a line jacket and jupe, a pair of shorts, and a pair of jeans. This is what the Align jacket looks like. It's so cute and it's black. This is the shorts, you guys. These are seriously so cozy. And then these are the jeans. They kind of give me like that Hailey Bieber off the look vibe. I'm seriously obsessed with these. Then from bag number two, I got these super cute pair of gray charcoal slack pants. I picked up this super cute furry vest with a hood, perfect for winter. And the last thing in this bag is this super cute knit sweater and this gray knit top. You guys, these are seriously the essentials that we all need for winter. Then from Urban Outfitters, I picked up this super cute pink tiger print top, and then I picked up some of these mini razors to darn play my face. These are seriously the best brand. They're called Nish, and they're just so good. Then from a brand called Mui Gold, I picked up this super cute green striped cashmere sweater. And starting off strong from Zara, I picked up this super cute gray knit sweater with a v-neck. This just screams Aspen Rich Housewife. Then I picked up this super cute gray top from Zara. Okay, you guys, this is seriously the best length to wear to school. It's still cute, but you won't be getting dress coded. Next, from Lululemon, I got one ginormous bag and one, like, regular bag. First in the regular size bag, I picked up two pairs of socks. These are seriously the best and they have grippies on the back so they won't fall off your feet. From the ginormous bag, I picked up this super cute pair of Lululemon shorts. I wear size zero on these because they went a little bit bigger. And the last thing in that giant Lululemon bag, I picked up this super cute backpack. I had one of these last year, so I just got a new one. Starting the year off fresh. Then from literally the best store in the entire world, from Aloe, I picked up this super cutie pair of shorts. They are seriously the cutest pair of shorts I've ever worn. And then I picked up this super cutie pair of gray leggings. I am so obsessed. They kind of give me like horse rider vibes, like rich Beverly Hills. I'm obsessed. Also, they can go with any type of top, a tank, a shirt, anything. From this super cutie brand called Slate, I picked up this super cutie book that I'm just going to use as a coffee table. I'll probably never read it. But seriously, guys, how could I say no to this absolutely gorgeous green color? It is the cutest thing on earth. And from Sephora, I got one ginormous bag, one like big bag, one regular bag, and then one tiny bag. But seriously, guys, can we just get a minute for how big these bags are? Like, they're literally the size of my head. 
Next in the tiny bag, I picked up another repurchase. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross Acne. Then I picked up another repurchase. It is the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops. The Glotion ones are really good for a dupe, but they broke me out, so I stopped using them. With all that's in the tiny bag, let's now move on to the regular size bag. The thing in the regular size bag, I picked up this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I seriously love this stuff. I don't support what Laneige does, but this seriously helps my skin so much. And from Kerastase, I picked up this Bond Repair. And then from Day, I picked up this Hair Detangle. I'll let you know if it's good. I love Day, so hopefully it works. Also, this smells like absolute heaven. The last thing that's in this regular bag, I picked up the Caudalie Serum. This is my third time me purchasing this serum. I don't talk about it a lot, but it's seriously the best serum. Then, starting off strong, I picked up the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. This stuff is seriously so good, and it smells just like the Baccarat. This is seriously not that moisturizing, but the scent makes up for it. Also from Sol de Janeiro, I picked up this super cute lotion. From Caudalie, I picked up this grape water spray to keep in my backpack. Then from day, I picked up this mask, which helps hold your hair in a slick back. I've never used it, but hopefully it's good. Ooh, it looks nice. Okay, let's do first impressions. Ooh, it smells so good. Also from day, I picked up another repurchase. I seriously love this day hair oil, and it works so good. And the last thing from this bag is another repurchase. It is the regular size of the Sol de Janeiro in 86. This is seriously so good. I love the 86 scent, and it is the best scent. Now let's move on to the ginormous bag. What I picked up is the High Shine by Mika. Then I picked up the Coldly Hair and Cream. I've never had this before, but guys, when I tried this out in the store, it smelled like Paris. Okay, and while I've never been to Paris before, this is how I imagine Paris smells like. Let me know if you're from Paris. Then I picked up the mini size of the Laneige Cream Skin Toner, and the last thing that's in this ginormous bag is an eyebrow pencil by Benefit in the shade 4.5. And from Apple, I picked up a brand new phone, an Apple Watch, a case, and a wristband. This is the band I picked out for my Apple Watch. This is the case I picked out for my brand new phone. This is the phone I picked up. I picked up the 14 Pro, and the last thing I got is this charger. But seriously, you guys, there is nothing better than a brand new phone. It just feels so clean and so crisp. Then from Amazon, I picked up all these packages. I'm pretty sure I'm paying Jeff Bezos bills. First thing from Amazon, I picked up this hair tool kit. It comes with the brush, the comb, and the slick back. Then from Slate and Stone, I picked up the bergamot scent of the body cream. This stuff seriously smells like absolute heaven. Next from Amazon, I picked up these powder puffs. Also, Alex Earls like to know it. Then I picked up this bedhead wax stick, which is going to help with slick back. And the last thing from Amazon that I picked up is a super cute LED mirror. Okay, let's do first impressions of the mirror. We're looking good. Oop. Uh-oh. Okay, let's turn it on. This is seriously the best. I feel like Kim Kardashian. And the very last thing from Amazon is this super cute black puffer vest. Like... Look at how cutie. Moving on to the famous Ulta Beauty. The first thing I got is Olaplex number six. Then I picked up the Red Can Heat Spray because my sister says I burn my hair. Then I picked up a repurchase alert. It is the Pathology Detangle Spray. Then I picked up two packs of sticky boobs. I love these and I'm obsessed with them. Next, I picked up a Touchland hand sanitizer. No germs will be touching me. And this is in the scent Vanilla Blossom. Then I picked up this scent in Vanilla Musk. The Cosa Ross Snail Mucin. Another repurchase. This is the Pure Grace Perfume. This smells like a beach. That is the only way to describe it. And the last thing from Ulta Beauty is this Born a Dreamer perfume. Okay, but let's test out the hand sanitizer. Ooh, that smells so good. Then from Neil, I have two ginormous bags. The first thing I picked up is this super cutie workout tank i love the blue pattern then i picked up this super cutie pair of leggings to go along with it and look at these stripes at the bottom and the last thing from now i picked up is this super cute red checkered top next from Ugg, i have a super exciting package okay so what i picked up is a super cute pair of mini platform uggs in the beige color i'm seriously obsessed then from the South Boutique, I picked up the cutest clothes ever. First thing I picked up is a super cute red set. It comes with the super cutie shorts and the super cutie cuff top. And the last thing from the South Boutique I picked up is the gold hinge zip top. I've seen all the Rush girls wear this, so obviously I needed it. Then from Brandy Malvero, I picked up a couple of pieces. First thing I picked up is this pajama set. 
that's the top and this is what the shorts look like and the last thing from brandy melba i picked up is this crochet top that you can put on top of a tank okay and this was what it looks like on like look at how cute this is it just screams fashion in new york i'm obsessed Next one brand called Skin Better. I picked up a couple of products. The first thing I picked up is the Notorious $75 sunscreen. Then the last thing I picked up from Skin Better is their Oxygen Infusion Wash. You guys, this seriously scrubs your face to a different level. It has slow releasing AHAs and BHAs that really deep cleanse your face but without stripping it. And moving on to Skims, I picked up this super cute orange body style that you all saw me wear. Then from Skims, I picked up the cutest top. Like, Look at that. And that is all from Skims. And from Revolve, I picked up a couple of pieces. The first top I picked up is this super cute green and gray flower. Then I picked up this super cute knit kind of see-through top with all of these blue palm trees on it. And the last thing I picked up from Revolve is the iconic London drop. I have not been able to find these in Sephora, so I bought them off of Revolve. And that is all from Revolve. Then from Every Jewels, I picked up two earring cuffs, two rings, four necklaces, and one bracelet. First for the necklaces, I picked up this necklace, which is supposed to have an angel number on it. It says 77. Then I picked up this white and gold pearl necklace. And the last necklace I picked up is this cross necklace. Then for the rings, I picked up this gold bracelet and this gold bracelet. And for the bracelet, I picked up this super cutie gold bracelet. And lastly, for the earring cuffs, I picked up a butterfly and a silver. And the very last package is from Miss Savannah Boda. If you don't know who she is, she's a Dallas esthetician that also sells skincare. She's seriously the cutest, but I picked up all of these travel size products as Skin Better products. The first product I picked up is the Skin Better Moisturizer, the Skin Better Gel Cleanser, the Skin Better Hyper Pigmentation Corrector and the Skin Better Vitamin C. This Vitamin C was seriously $98. Like, it better fix my skin. This is what it looks like, and it's seriously the cutest packaging ever. And that is everything from the biggest shopping haul ever. Bye. Okay, guys, time to give you a little back to school haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you guys my backpack. I got this Barbie backpack. Um, I think it's super cute and I literally love Barbie and it was really cheap too. I got this binder, one and a half white binder and then a one inch binder in purple. And then I got this filler paper for my binders. For notebooks, I got this composition notebook with little flowers on it. I got this notebook with strawberries on it and it is one of the like skinnier notebooks so do it for a class that you don't like write a lot. And then I got more filler paper for notes. I got this wide rule notebook. This is like a really thick one in purple. I got dividers for my binders. I got this blue notebook. And then I got this hot pink notebook. I got this little cute cherry folder. I got this just regular red folder. And then I got some Expo markers in the colors that they have. I got some of these pencils because in some of my classes they just don't let um, lead pencils. I got these new shiny pencils that they have. I got highlighters. I got glue sticks just in case I'm in an art class. And then I got one of these. I got a pencil sharpener. And then I got index cards. I also forgot, you guys, I got this really cute pencil case so I can put it in my bag and so I don't lose my pencils. Um, I also did this video to kind of show, like, the necessities that you're going to need for high school. Um, for your first year, like your freshman year, you're probably not going to need as many notebooks and binders. But since I'm going into my junior year, I feel like I am going to need that much because last year, my sophomore year, I used, like, three notebooks and I filled them all up for just the classes that I was taking my freshman year I think I got like two notebooks and one binder and for like colored pencils and all that stuff it just depends if you have an art class or not I don't think I'm gonna have one this year so I just didn't feel the need to grab colored pencils but yeah thank you for watching bye